All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. Cards with Michael here with another Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Collector Booster. This one's for Mike Mythic. Thank you so much, Mike, for sponsoring this. Um, so yeah, these are actually just really pretty. They're really, really nice looking. Um, they're so much better looking than the Commander Legends and the, um, <clears throat> what do we call the other set again? Oh yeah, Modern Horizons 2. So maybe that's why I just, I don't know, I can't get over how like nice and investor-like and shiny these are. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get to it. Last box, of course, which put a little eye. We just did it earlier today. And now we are on to box number two. Now, the thing about this uh, set is it releases tomorrow, but I've had some like interesting like stories I want to say. So basically, oh, what is this? Oh my god, I didn't even know this was in the card and set. So basically, this set's uh, set booster allocation has been not actually that high, which is weird because historically, that's like something that like a lot of vendors will uh, be forced to buy a lot of. Dragonborn Champion. Oh, I love this. That's really, really fun. Another Vorpal Sword. We started off with Vorpal Sword last time, too. And the one thing that we're getting a lot of, like inundated with, ooh, Den of the Bugbear, the module showcase land are the commander decks like holy moly there's a lot of commander decks here's this really fun foil and orcus prince of undeath this is just going to be like this goes in the cubes like it doesn't need any of that to already be super good and then just like what you can either wrath the board or turn up to x tar creature cards like this is just so good so good um <clears throat> so yeah, just keep in mind and i mean commander decks at this point like you guys should just be buying one ideally uh, for your collection or just be able to play it early and just feels like Amazon always inevitably ends up having like some of the cheapest uh, commander decks eventually later. Grim Hireling. Oh wow, that's, you create two treasure tokens? That's like Odin Bone, but better. Oh no, but it's whenever one or more. Okay, okay, so maximum you could only make is two treasure tokens. Anyways, we keep going. Ooh, I like this. Barrowin of Clan Undar. And another Minsk. Beloved Ranger. You'll love it. You'll love to see it. Blink Dog. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Look at this. And Zarn. Okay. Foil Showcase. All right. On to the next pack. Um, draft booster supports are basically non existent. I think one of this was literally allocated us zero draft boosters, which is kind of funny because it's like. Wizards want us to play? Or is, are we just, the uh, LGSs are just kind of here to, you know, <clears throat> help people, direct people to Magic Arena. What is this, Flying and Ward? Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Wing Boots, Rocky Myth, Cloister Gargoyle, Lurking Roper, and Azalto Fire Giant Duke. All right, here we go. Oh, I love the way this foil looks. And Forsworn. Paladin, a human knight foil extended art. And of course, the collector booster product is actually not bad in terms of supply, so um, maybe that's just an indication that this, that, you know, we're not selling too many of them. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to divine too much information from what's available at the distributor level, but um, just trying to give you guys little tidbits. Grave Endeavor. Roll two d10s, choose one result, return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a number of Plus one, plus one counters on it equal to that result. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, neat. A lot of text to say that, but, you know, definitely interesting for a seven mana bulk rare. Dungeon Descent. Got our Baleful Beholder, and, ooh, I really like these. These foil modules. Den of the Bug Bear. Oh, it just looks so nice. I know it doesn't look like a magic card, and that's kind of... I'm a fan of it. I know every time they do something like this, you have people crying, I'm going to quit magic. It's This is awful. This is terrible. Like back in the good old days, blah, blah, blah. But I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. Werewolf Pack Leader, Foil Rare, Bag of Tricks. All right. All right. Interesting. I don't even want to read this. I just know it's a lot of text. <laughs> Bag of Tricks. Guardian Faith, of course, this card is definitely a speckable card. It's a spirit and it's a knight, extremely re relevant tribal. Flash Vigilance, and of course, you phase out everyone else. It's, oh, it's so good. Protect yourself from wrath. Delina, 
wild mage and oh i like these as well this is a borderless white dragon it doesn't have blue eyes fortunately i guess and a west gate regent right right okay on a pack number six Ooh, got a little morning tinin emblem haven't seen that one yet and here we go Sorcerer class is our foil rare. <clears throat> Mantle of the Ancients again. Asmodeus, the Archfiend. All right, Devil God. Who would have thought we'd see those two cards next to each other, or those two tribes next to each other? Creature types, here we go. Westgate Regent again, this time it's non-foil. Manticore, this time it is foil. And Teleportation Circle, foil extended art. I mean, these are the type of cards that are super good, and this is actually decent in multiples as well. But of course, I imagine it's more of an EDH card. And honestly, we're at the point of Magic's history that a lot of these standard sets, it just feels like they're just, every single thing is EDH masters. You know what I mean, guys? Another EC Puzzle Ward. Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there's a one in four chance you draw a card at the beginning of each upkeep, right? Just off of the focus beam itself. So I like the design. Eye of Vecna. All right. Nice little card draw for control decks. I have some life. Oh my goodness. Are you serious, Mike Mythic? All right. Let's get that Tiamat right in here. Beautiful pull. I'm going to actually put it right here. Put it to the side. Let we'll everyone know. Pull another Tiamat. Foil Giant and a UNT. Malison. All right. Oh, back to back videos with the Tiamat. So good. So good. Mike Mythic getting the Mythics. All right. Here we go. Adult Gold Dragon. All right. Radiant Solar. All right. Forsworn Paladin. The Beholder. The Prowler. And another Adult Gold Dragon. Card just so busted. Can you imagine playing against that Unlimited and not having a removal spell for it? Speaking of things that need removal spells, holy moly, Skeletal Swarming is also a powerful card. Extremely flavorful and just so strong. So strong. All right. Next pack. What do we got here? Here we go. Spear Dagger, one of my favorites. And Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Collapse in a fit of horrifying giggles. All right. Wolfgar of Icewind Dale, All right? Very cool little guy. And True Polymorph, Goblin Javelinier, and Temple of the Dragon Queen, the only uncommon module. Drizzit Do Erden, right? Of course, one of the most memorable cards. And a foil, Clattering Skeletons, followed up by a foil showcase, Oswald Fiddle. Bender. All right, we got three more packs left, Mike Mythic. Of course, we have hit some of the best Mythics, including the Tiamat. But let's see if we can get something else. Oh, I got a cute little fairy dragon that's from the Uncommon that something about rolling dice. All right, here we go. Triumphant Adventure, a foil rare. Sephiris of the Hidden Ways. Of course, this is one of the face commanders. All right, all right. Very good, very good. Orb of Dragon Kind, the Skeletons. Displacer Beast, Gelatinous Cube. All right. All right. Beautiful. The, the print, um, <clears throat> like, the style and the, the foiling on this set, I, I can't be understated that I don't actually see that much print issues with the set. And I think that that is just something that, uh, you know, like, we should take this for granted honestly like i don't want to say we shouldn't take it for granted that you know we spend 200 dollars plus on a booster box and there's just like print issues all over but i also can't it can't be oh wow okay so this card of course is the one that is banned in magic arena at least 2022 standard um can't be understated that it is actually fun to open packs and just have all of these cards just like the, the quality on them looks good. Grandmaster Flowers, we got the Bahamut. Foil Borderless Green Dragon, like the foiling looks nice. And oh yes, this is gonna be one of the Chase Rares for sure. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. 
foil, right? I just, I enjoy that. I really enjoy that. Like, I don't see as many issues. Of course, I do see that little print line. I think that's something we're never gonna not see. But I just, oh, I don't know. I, I enjoy this set um, more from like the art perspective. I think oftentimes when you have sets that just like the singles are critically not that great, um, you'll see those singles eventually go back up because people will stop opening sealed product and there's just not as much singles to go around. And there are no like fetch lines or anything in this to like incentivize people to open product. And there will be kind of a, a rebalancing. Lalith, Spider Queen, the Druid of Purification, Orcus, Prince of Undeath. But that does not mean you should buy singles now. Give it at least two weeks, guys. Give it at least two weeks. Here we go. White, Foil Mimic, and a Foil Borderless Old Gnawbone to end this box. This is one of the most sought after uh, rares or mythics, and um, it's just amazing. Um, it's notably, for those who are like, why is this card so good? Create that many treasure tokens. So if you deal five damage to someone with like two creatures, uh, you get to create five treasures. And that can get really busted really quick. All right, guys, that's the video. We got the Tiamat, got the old knob bone, got a bunch of other cool stuffs, including these ah, just pretty foil borderless dragons. Mike, Mythic, we hit the Mythics for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.